It's been an exciting past couple of years watching football played here in Mililani. But now gone to graduation, our stable of players leaving behind a legacy that this state will remember for many years to come. So now it's the next man up for head coach Rod York and this Trojan Army as they turn the page towards a new era, hoping to reconquer the OIA and march their way back to the state tournament. This is Mililani. And this is 16 in 16. The Trojan gang fell short of defending the Coalwood Trophy after losing to St. Louis in last year's state semifinals. Now, with a loss of five all Hawaii selections to graduation, Mililani is looking to reload. It's a new season, new team. Um, you know, this team has to find their identity. Uh, definitely, you know, we'll be missing the, the, the big three, like everybody calls them. But for us in the locker room, you know, we don't look at them as a big three. We just, we're, we're just definitely a, a unit. Every year we miss guys, every year guys, new guys step in. Just like when the big three were sophomores, you know, those guys step in. And we got a lot of promising guys. It'll be exciting, you know, for Trojan fans. I mean, personally, I mean, we don't have to prove anything to anybody. I mean, we're just proving ourselves and making a name for ourselves, you know. Just bring this community back to the top where it always has been from the start. And just, um, you know, Vi and all Kensington, they're great role models. So they just um, helped us and believed in us to fill up their big shoes and um, always make the unpopular popular. The big deal this year was we didn't have spring ball. That's new for the OIA, new for us. So um, a lot of question marks today. A year ago, two years ago, and, and years past, we've had a lot of question marks answered. And now we don't have them answered, so we, we just have to find out. You know, every day, every rep is uh, important. Taking reps at the QB spot will be sophomore Dylan Gabriel. The left-handed slinger appeared in four games last season in place of an injured Mackenzie Milton. Now looking to be his full-time replacement, Dylan will have big shoes to fill and high expectations being the son of former UH quarterback Garrett Gabriel. I like it, you know, sometimes I don't like it, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's cool. And you know, I don't really see it as pressure. I just, I'm playing the sport I love, you know. I try to tune that out and just focus on, you know, it's a, what I got to do to help out my team, you know. You know, we don't have the guys like Kenzie, Vi, and Kala. You know, we could just hand the ball off, pass to, you know. I mean, I look up to him still, you know. He's, he's a playmaker, he's smart. You know, as you can see, he wasn't the tallest, he wasn't the strongest, but he made plays when, when they needed to be, you know. In addition to the big three, Milani also lost some key upperclassmen on offense. Stepping up will be a young group of Trojans looking to provide the horsepower needed to continue to operate this high-powered machine. We don't have a senior on the O-line, so I mean, we're going to be young. Me and our running back, Cliff Malibiai, he's a sophomore. We have only two senior wideouts, so we're going to be young, but that's no excuse, you know. We just got to keep playing like how we, you know, how we've been playing, and we should be good. Scotty Agasiva, he's an O-line man. Noah Williams, Roman Tovey. You know, he, he didn't get as much looks last year because Bryson and Kala, but this year he'll probably be our guy. And, Andrew Valadares, you know, we have a lot of guys there. Just didn't really get the look they got last year, you know. Change for us is um, I'm no longer calling the offense and I will be on the defense side of the ball. So that that's how much emphasis that our defense is, is going to get this year. You know, I'm going to make sure that I'm hands on with it and not just delegating. I've been working primarily with the offense this past uh, five, six years. So now I'm going to make sure that, that the, the defense is um, Leave no stone unturned, you know. For me as a head coach, I'm going to make sure I'm on the defense side of the ball. You know, I'm always on the field just trying to echo the play, make sure everybody's aligned right. You know, if I see something that's wrong, I correct it. Or if I see something from the offense, like, oh, I sniff out this play, I always yell out, oh, screen, draw, check this, check that. But I just make sure all the players are always aware and just um, keep talking to the players, make sure we have that communication. Um, I think we'll be looking sharp with Kainola Wong and Keavi Fox, as well as Kapusan and Ian Vovasso at DBs. Not to be cocky, but I guess they're similar to the Richard Sherman and the Boom Squad, or whatever they call it. But I know that they, they play together, they always communicate, and they always communicate with us backers, which makes the defense easier, because they're like the hawks in the sky, we're over here patrolling the land. So I guess they all work together and they make sure that everybody knows what's up. Like every new season, you'll see different faces in different places. But at Mililani, you can expect the same brand of football 
with Trojans who are humble and hungry to get another title. You know, um, at the beginning of the season, we're always 0-0, and that's what we look at. Last year, two years ago, three years ago, 40 years ago, you know, it really doesn't matter to us. Our team is ready to go. You know. It's the same thing, you know, Coach says, humble and hungry, you know, we don't rebuild, we reload, you know, and that's what we've been living by. We just got to keep, keep, you know, sticking to those models and we should be good. Mililani begins their season August 6th against St. Louis. Spencer Honda, scoringlive.com.